Well, that just happened. Merry Christmas, Rams, I guess. Bronco fans, it's, it's been a long season. I mean, where do we even start with this game? Do we start with the Broncos defense, the Rams offense, the Broncos offense? I mean, this was a rough game for Denver. Great game for LA. I mean, not that this game really mattered for anything, but Baker Mayfield actually, Mayfield may be a legit quarterback again. He he was in Carolina, so I'm gonna give him the benefit of the doubt over there, and he's thriving in LA. I mean, we could see him back starting in the league, um, at a decent, decently high level. I mean, he's not gonna be elite. He's not gonna be top ten. He's not gonna. Be, I'd say he'd be around average, though. I'm sure the Broncos would love him. Um, but I guess let's start with the Broncos offense. Um, Russell Wilson, rough day. I mean, 15 for 27, 214 yards a touchdown, but three interceptions. And then Brett uh, Rippon came in, 4 for 8, 42 yards, and a pick himself. Russ started off the game 0 for 3 with two picks, including one to his former teammate, Bobby Wagner. Um, and the Broncos' run game wasn't horrible, but they just they couldn't really get going because they were behind all game. So, that didn't really matter. Jerry Judy, though, had a, himself a huge game. Six receptions for 117. Um, the one touchdown for the Broncos did go to the tight end. Um, but Sutton and Judy did all of the receiving, really. Um, but there just there was no offense for the Broncos. Nothing was working. Um, they ended up with 14 points, but... Uh, the start of that game was so ugly. Russ had one of the worst starts to a game I've seen in a long time. Um, and then 51 points for the Rams. I mean, how do you let that happen? I mean, that's one way. No picks. No sacks. <laughs> I mean, they really didn't have anything going for them. They didn't force a single turnover. No sacks. And then for the Rams, everything was working. Baker was on 24 for 28 for 230 and two TDs, no turnovers, and then Cam Akers, talk about a game, 23 carries for 118 and three touchdowns, he averaged five yards a carry, Higby as well, nine receptions, 94 yards and two TDs, the Rams offense was on, they were clicking in every single way possible, I mean, Baker was great. The run game was great. Um, it's so nice to see Higby thriving with Baker Mayfield. I've always liked Tyler Higby. Um, uh, but he did not get many looks with Stafford. He's getting the ball a lot with Baker. He's he's playing really, really well. And Cam Makers, man, I'm glad he's doing good again. Three touchdowns. Got in the end zone three times. And he averaged five yards to carry. Five! 23 carries got 118. That's amazing. And then if we look at the Rams defense, ho 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 ho. They got a lot of sacks over there. I think that's six. Yes, yeah, six sacks uh, for the Rams. Bobby Wagner had a huge game against Russ. Uh, first time they've faced off. Bobby had a sack and a pick. Um, Ramsey also got a pick. Two picks for Durant. Um, but, I mean,. Overall, just great game for the Rams. Matt Gay was perfect, three for three. Um, but you just you have to wonder what is going on in Denver, man. LA is not a good team. I thought Denver was going to win this game handily. Like I thought Denver was going to get back in the win column, mess up the Seahawks draft pick. Um, but the Rams smacked them, completely smacked them. So. This, the Broncos aren't just having a fluke season. They are truly, I think, a bad football team. The coaching sucks. Um, the offense sucks. The defense is having their struggles now. Because, let's be honest with ourselves. The Rams' offense is not that good this season. They're so banged up and hurt. Yet, they put on a show today. A show on Christmas. Um, but, I mean, if you're a Broncos fan, man, I... F I feel bad for you. I mean, the the Broncos' future might be the darkest out of everyone in the NFL. 
I mean, they got, they're in trouble. They got Russ locked up in the horrible contract for like five, six years. Um, he's not playing well. You got no draft capital because you traded it all the way to get Russ. Um, but honestly, same for the Rams. The Rams are in a really tough spot right now too. Traded away all their capital to get Stafford, but they got a ring. They got a Super Bowl ring, got rid of all their draft picks. They're going to have a couple years to have to rebuild and get back up there. But at least the Rams got a Super Bowl. Broncos, Broncos are struggling. They've been struggling ever since Super Bowl 50. That's what, seven years now? Eight years almost. And just nothing's going the Broncos' way. They get crushed again. Russ struggling big time again. Um... And just when you're playing from behind like that, and you have to lean on your quarterback who's not playing well, um, it's not going to end well for you. And unfortunately, that is what happened to the Broncos. Um, but that is game two from Christmas Day. Rams win it 51-14 to in an absolute blowout on Nickelodeon. Um, but yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. Um, if you like this video, make sure to like, subscribe. See y'all next time. Peace out.